Hello, hello, hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Christy and I'm living in New South Wales, Australia. And this was recorded on Tuesday morning when we thought we'd do some breakfast meal prep. So that's some of what we're going to make today. We're going to make like a egg based frittata, some homemade granola and some energy bites. Now by way of background, on a Sunday, I would normally do something like this. I'd fry up a bunch of bacon, I'd do a few eggs and pop the muffins on there, and we'd have what we call in our house McMums, which are essentially a blatant ripoff of a McDonald's McMuffin. Um, but because that's what they look like there, so I actually made these ones for my son before he went to work. But of course, the last few months, we have been trying to eat a little bit healthier, introduce more fruits and vegetables into the family's diets, just on a, you know, an easy kind of basis. And it's always good to have something meal preppy. So all of today's recipes are from Danny at Clean and Delicious. I'll link to them down below. This one, we're going to use half a dozen eggs. We're going to use around 200 grams of the spinach, a little bit of garlic, half an onion, a red capsicum, a green capsicum. The recipe doesn't call for it, but I'm going to add in some cottage cheese. And also, if you want to put this, once we've baked it, if you want to put it on a muffin, so it looks a little bit like a muffin, then you're just going to have your English muffins there and probably a slice of cheese. So the recipe suggests that you can make this ahead and it's freezer friendly and all those things. But you will see as we go through that I don't do it that way. I actually just keep any egg in reserve in my fridge and I might freeze my muffins but I don't freeze it all together I just don't love that I really feel like it's it's just yeah they reheat at different stages I, I don't like that so I've diced up all of the capsicums there and the onion and of course just roughly chop that spinach and then we get cooking Am I honest with myself? Am I telling the truth to the face in the mirror that's scaring me now after death? Am I honest with myself? So I have that oven preheating at around 180. And once I mix up those eggs, we're gonna try and let the um, veggies start to cool a little bit. Cause if you pour it in when it's really hot, it's gonna start to cook your egg and you don't wanna do that. Now, why I'm adding the cottage cheese is just to get an extra hit of protein into this recipe. Eventually, we're gonna combine everything together with a little bit of salt and pepper and simply pour it into a casserole dish. And then we're gonna pop it into the oven and that's going to cook for around 25 minutes. Am I broken? I used to feel alive. I'm just numb now. Now here's a little insight into how I run my kitchen. So I've got the couple of muffins in the toaster. So they're sitting there, they'll go once everything's um, cooked and ready. But while it's in the oven, I'm gonna deal with the rest of this packet of English muffins. I hate things going to waste. So what I do is I just cut them up and put a little bit of parchment paper in between each one. That way, if I want them in a real rush, then they're not stuck together. I don't have to for the, wait for them to defrost at all. They can just go directly frozen into the toaster and they're fine. I'll pop those into the freezer and keep them like that. So this makes six slices with the six eggs. So on this particular day, we actually had two of them for a start. So then I had four to store. And you don't have to have them on muffins. 
Sometimes I've just heat up the egg by itself. It takes around 60 seconds in my microwave oven to do that. And then just um, served it over toast with maybe a little tomato and avocado on the side or something. That's my preferred way to do it. Oh, here's a photo of Brecky the other day to show what I mean by that. So, But I've converted hubby. He's quite happy with this. And then I just take the leftovers and pop them in the fridge. And they'll last in the fridge for a few days. So as I said, I've made this quite a few times now and it is really quick and easy to handy to have, really is. Next up is some granola. Now I've made granola quite a few times, but I've never made a 15 minute stovetop granola. So I'm keen to give this one a try. I've got some coconut oil there, some oats. We're gonna put in some walnuts and some chopped up almonds. And our sweetener is going to be maple syrup. We're thinking of adding some coconut, some apricots, some cranberries, some hemp seeds and possibly some pumpkin seeds. I don't end up adding them, but I was considering it. First of all, we just get everything prepped by chopping up all those nuts and measuring everything out so it's all ready to go. So everything is prepped here and ready to go. So essentially we're going to spend 10 minutes just coating those oats and the nuts with the maple syrup and there's a bit of cinnamon and um, salt there too. And we're just going to make sure everything's nicely covered and slowly starting to toast before we add in the add-ins. So like the hemp seeds, like the fruit, things like that. So I have to tell you, this was the first time I'd ever tried this recipe. Previously, granola has taken me several hours in the oven and I have to say, this is by far and away the yummiest granola I have ever made. It really was just 10 minutes on the stovetop, maybe 15 altogether, I'd say. And it's beautiful and soft. It's not too sweet. It turned out really, really well. So as I mentioned, I do end up adding in the hemp seeds just for a little bit of extra fiber, but I just side against the pumpkin seeds. I decided to keep this one. It's a little bit of a sweet treat. So I make such a mess. I really am the biggest slob in the kitchen. So I end up actually putting my, my canister inside the pan to try not to spill it absolutely everywhere because I'm just such a grub. I really am. But that's how it is. That's how it looks. And according to um, Danny at the um, Clean and Delicious, that should last for six weeks. I actually had some the very next morning on over a little bit of yogurt and berries. There it is there, just on the side. And it was beautiful. Well, we had a lot of stuff out on the counter already. We thought we'd continue and make some energy balls. Now, I'd never made these particular oatmeal raisin ones before, so we gave them a go first. We're going to use our oats, our maple syrup as a sweetener. There's a little bit of cinnamon in this, a tiny pinch of table salt. There are almonds, there are walnuts, and there are raisins. We're just going to combine all those ingredients and turn them into balls. In a while, you seem to cross my mind. See your face in a stranger as I pass him by. I, 
I swear sometimes I can hear you from the other side I can't make out the words but it's a voice I recognize One look at this photograph The tears come flooding and my mind starts rushing back To the places we used to live Ain't it cruel how it all ends just like that? How come life takes the best of us? You were only 17 so I ended up getting nine out of those particular balls. And next up, we're going to make some sort of chocolatey oatmeal ones. I have actually made these ones before and they were very popular. So we use the crunchy peanut butter. Our sweetener is a little bit of honey. We've got some dark chocolate chips there, a dash of vanilla essence and flaxseed meal along with the oats. We're just gonna roll these up into balls just like we did previously. All these things are just going to get stored. I'm going to put some in the fridge and then some off to the freezer and keep them that way. So they last a couple of weeks in the fridge and I understand that they're meant to last several months in the freezer. We want to have them there if someone wants to grab a quick snack. I'm hoping it'll be a better alternative than a chocolate bar or something else. I try not to snack. But you know, sometimes if you're having a smoothie as a meal, um, it's nice to have something that feels a little bit more solid, like actual food to have with it and sometimes these can give me that feeling like I've actually eaten plus they're full of a ton of fiber and a little bit of extra protein so bad when I look at this photograph I still wonder if things would have been different now I called you that night before it all went down, down Didn't know what to say so I just shut my mouth It's too late now all I can do is make you proud now, before I usually clean up and put things away, I like to get myself a little bit organized. So in my pantry, I keep a basket. It has some labels, it has sticky tape, it has some Sharpies in there. And why I keep the packaging with the product um, and is until I do this. So I check the expiry date and all I'm gonna do is grab a little bit of sticky tape, tuck it over the back of the container and just write it on there with a Sharpie. And in this way, I know you know, when I have to use things by, because sometimes when you decant things, you can, it's easy to not be sure and to lose track. That certainly happened to me before when I got a bit lazy and, and didn't deal with things as they come up like this. So now I don't put anything back into the cupboard until I force myself to do it. I was quite fortunate that in these Kmart label stickers, I actually found cranberries. So that's always nice. Otherwise, I do actually have a um, Dymo um, label maker in there as well, which is what I will use. Thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen today, guys, as we prep some breakfasty things. That's that done. So if you enjoy this kind of content, guys, be sure to let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Also guys, if you'd let me know if you prefer voiceovers or music or a combination of both in future videos. Thanks so much.